Hello students, welcome to your channel Parivartan Physics. See, uh, we know already we have seen one video. So this is the second video. Here uh, we are in the series of videos where we are going through rapid revision course. As I have told you earlier, uh, it was not possible for me to conduct an online crash course. That's why I am doing this course to help you all. Right? So Sakas Jana new online course crash course conduct matter and request matter, but that was not possible by me. So that's why I am doing this to help you. Right. So, a rapid revision course we will go on revising all the concepts and shortcuts of the chapter, uh, which will be helpful to solve you uh, the MCQs of the KCIT. Right. So, in this video, we will see only electric potential. Capacitance another that we will see in the next video. Right. Okay. Without wasting the time, let us start the rapid revision of electric potential. See, electric potential of electric potential is given by electric potential is equal to V is equal to W by Q. Work done is equal to potential difference into charge. Right. So, potential difference into charge. If you are asked to calculate the work done, if for example, now we are points on the A and B and if you are moving a charge from A to B, right, then work done in work done in calculating, uh, sorry, work done in moving a charge from A to B will be equal to potential difference between these two charges into the charge which we are moving. Like this, we have to calculate the work done, right. Next, electric potential due to uh, a point charge. So, electric potential due to a point charge is given by 1 by 4 pi epsilon q divided by r, right. So, potential will go on reducing with respect to r like this. See, potential at the location of the charge is infinity. Where the point uh, charge is placed at that point, the electric potential will be infinite. So, this is the formula for electric potential due to a point charge. Okay, we will go for the next concept then. Electric potential due to an electric dipole, electric dipole at any general point, any general point on the we are neither at uh, axial point nor we are at the equatorial point. Axial point or gula, equatorial point or gula. We are at a general point. Now. So, a general point, uh, electric dipole in the head kondo, it is at a distance r. It is at a distance r, and the line joining that general point is obtaining an angle theta with the axis of the dipole. With the axis of the dipole. So, electric potential at the general point, electric field at the general point was 1 by 4 pi epsilon p by r cube root 3 cos square theta plus 1. Electric potential at the general point is 1 by 4 pi epsilon p cos theta divided by r square. What is theta? Theta is the angle subtended by the line joining point p with respect to the axis of the dipole. Right? Okay. Now, if we consider an axial point, if I take axial point, this is the axial point. This straight line in actor, it will come here. So, this angle will become 0. If I substitute theta is equal to 0, I will get potential v is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon p divided by r square. If I take an axial point here, if I take an axial point here, then theta will be 180 degree. This line, it will be 180. So, it will be, one, theta will be 180 minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon p divided by r square actually. Next note, on equatorial line, if we take a point on the equatorial line, this is the equatorial point, then this line will come here. Hence, the angle between the axis of the dipole and the line joining the point p will be 90 degree. Hence, cos 90 will be 0, then potential will become 0. So, if you take any point on the axial line, Sorry, equatorial line. Equatorial line, we have a point to worry at every point potential is zero. At every point potential is zero. If potential at every point on the equatorial line is zero, and if you want to move any charge from one point to another point, then work done in moving that charge will also be zero because potential difference will be zero. Work done in moving a charge on equatorial line will be zero. See, at equatorial line, electric potential will be zero. But electric field will not be zero. Equatorial line make electric field and potential matra zero. Since potential is zero, that's why work done in moving the charge along that line will be zero. Right? Okay, we'll go to the next concept. E electric potential due to charged circular ring. So we are having a charged circular ring here whose charge is plus q, uh, radius is r, and the distance of the point from the center of the ring is x. So the potential at the point P due to this ring will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon q divided by root of capital R square plus x square where capital R is radius of the ring and x is the distance of the axial point from the center of the ring. At the center, the potential will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon q divided by capital R. At the center of the ring, electric field will be 0. Charged ring in the center will be electric field 0, but potential 0 angular potential will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon charge on the ring divided by radius of the ring. Next, relation between electric field and electric potential, it is E is equal to minus dV by dr potential divided by uh, distance, right? In the direction of electric field, if you go, if you go on taking the points, potential goes on reducing in the direction of electric field. Electric field, the direction of potential, for example, ignore If this is the electric field, potential is A, is B, is C, and then we another point. Potential at A will be greater than potential at B 
and it will be greater than potential at C. So potential number reduce up to the in the direction of electric field potential goes on reducing. That is the significance of the negative sign here. Ignore For example, name one the equation quarter potential V is equal to KX square. And if they are asking you electric field at a point 2, comma 0, comma 1. You differentiate this with respect to X. Under name electric field bake you differentiate that potential with respect to X. X is the differentiate matter name give the 2kx you will get it as 2kx. Substitute the value of x coordinate here. X coordinate is 2. So 2 into 2 will be 4. So name 4k. This much you will get the electric field. If potential is given as ky square, you have to differentiate the potential with respect to y now. With respect to y differentiate matter, it will be 2ky. It will be 2ky. Correct? In place of y, substitute the y coefficient then. Y, y coordinate in the 0 then. So electric field will be 0. Next, if you are asked to calculate the potential at uh, potential, if the equation of potential is given this, either equation e point differentiate with respect to z, you will get it as 2kz. Substitute the coefficient of z here, that is 1. So it will be 2k. It will be 2k. So this is the electric field at that point. Like this, we have to calculate. Okay. Next, we will go for zero potential point. See, we have seen zero electric field point. Another neutral point at the null point. Net electric field zero around the point. Not the Our net electric field zero around the point. Neutral point calculate model. We have taken a shortcut formula also. That is x equal to r divided by root of q2 by q1 plus or minus 1. And that x is the distance from the smaller charge. And then I will tell q2 is greater, q1 is smaller. And then Positive for like charges, negative for unlike charges. Just I reminded you that. Okay, see, zero potential point in the See, there is zero electric field point. Neutral point you will get for like charges also, unlike charges also. But zero potential point you will get only for unlike charges. This is this is only for unlike charges. Like charges in zero potential points. By positive charge, you will get positive voltage. By negative charge, you will get negative voltage. Right? So zero potential point in the positive potential, negative potential. Yeradu positive other very positive potential. Yaradu negative other very negative potential sector. Right? Okay. For system of two unlike charges, there are three zero potential points. Unlike charges matra zero potential point birth of the system of two unlike charges at the panel, there will be three zero potential points. More zero potential points in sector. Neutral point electric field zero on the point one there to the potential zero on the point more earth. One is in between the charges, another one is outside the charges, and third one is at infinity. Infinity the gantu yellow point charge to yellow dipole the potential zero near the so in between the charges there will be one zero potential point outside the charges there will be one zero potential point at infinity there will be one zero potential point okay so here we are having minus q1 plus q2 and there are unlike charges are minus q1 plus q1 and there. let the distance between these two charges be taken as r distance between these two charges be taken as r so one zero potential point will be in between the two charges and if i say q1 is less than q2 the zero potential point will be close to that smaller charge. A smaller charge is whether it may be internal zero potential point or external zero potential point. Okay, so minus q1 plus q2 are separated by distance r and one zero potential point is in between the two charges close to the smaller charge. One zero potential point is outside the system close to the smaller charge and one zero potential point is at infinity. So e zero potential point is the distance number x and theory. Internal point also x, external point also x. To find out the distance of that zero potential point, we have a shortcut formula here. That is R divided by Q2 by Q1 plus or minus 1. Right? Plus to find the inside point, internal point under A find model, distance of A find model, minus for outside point under distance of B find model. That is the reason. Again, we have to take greater charge in the numerator. Q2 is greater, Q1 is smaller. So, the charge in the numerator will be smaller charge, denominator will be smaller. same. If you have square root, you square root. Right? Okay, we will go for the next concept then. Equipotential surfaces. What are equipotential surfaces? Surfaces having same potential at all the points on that surface are called as equipotential surface. Potential difference between any two points on that equipotential surface will be zero. If potential difference is zero, work done in moving a charge from one point to another point on equipotential surface will be zero. Best example for equipotential surfaces, surface of a charged conductor that is equipotential. Okay, first point. Potential difference between two points is zero. Therefore, work done will be zero, right? Second point, equipotential surfaces will not intersect. Yes, if they intersect at one point, you will get two different potentials, which is not possible, right? So there has to be only one potential. Electric field lines are always perpendicular to equipotential surfaces. You know, the point charge of the, it is equipotential surfaces for concentric spheres. Electric field lines, you know, they are perpendicular at every point on the 
at, at every point of the intersection, right? So, electric field is perpendicular to the equipotential surfaces, okay? This is third point. Fourth point, strong field if equipotential surfaces are close. L equipotential surface close irta, while field is strong irta, where they are far apart, their field is weak. For point charge, equipotential surfaces are concentric spheres as we have shown here. For uniform electric field, equipotential surfaces will be perpendicular planes. For example, if this is the uniform electric field, if this is the uniform electric field, if this is the uniform electric field, the uh, planes will be perpendicular to like this. So, these are the equipotential surfaces, right? So, if this plane is having 4 volt potential, at this point it will be 4 volt, at this point it will be 4 volt, at this point it will be 4 volt, then in the direction of electric field, I am taking one more plane. So, here it may be 3 volt. potential Because in the direction of electric field, potential gets reduced. Right? So, at this point, it will be 3 volt, 3 volt, 3 volt. At all the points, it will be 3 volt only. Right? Okay. That's all about equipotential surfaces. Next, electric potential due to a charged spherical shell. Right? Ilon charged sphere now. Again, we are taking three points. Outside point A, surface point B, inside point C. Radius of this sphere is capital R. Distance of that outside point A from the center of the sphere is smaller. Charge on the sphere is Q. If I take outside point, R is greater than capital R. Electric potential is same as that of electric potential of point charge. That is 1 by 4 pi epsilon Q divided by smaller. If we take the point on the surface, smaller is equal to capital R. Electric potential will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon Q divided by capital R. Smaller will get replaced by capital R. Notary, inside point new tokundri and tundra at inside point electric field will be zero, but potential is not zero. So potential will be how much? It will be same as that of the surface potential. Surface mal yes to potential rita the astra potential inside the sphere could air. Right? Okay, other the graphical variation of will to the way. Potential on y axis, distance on x axis. Let me say this is the surface point. Small r is equal to capital R. Surface point and the other. Correct. From center of the sphere to the surface point, potential will be same. Surface between you hargade hodri and tundra potential is inversely proportional to R. That's why the potential goes on reducing like this. Right? So, this is the graphical variation. Electric field torus bekadrani will yena torus barda. Here nothing is shown because electric field inside the sphere will be zero. Outside the sphere, electric field goes on reducing like that we show it. Right? This is electric potential due to the surface, uh, due to the charged sphere. Next, motion of charged particle in uniform electric field. So, here we have taken an electric field, uniform electric field. In uniform electric field, we have taken two points A and B. Potential at A is VA, potential at B is VB. We are moving a charge Q from A to B, right? So, velocity of that charge will be root 2 QV divided by M, where V is potential difference between A and B points, right? I redu points and win potential difference. So, root 2 charge which we are moving and the potential difference between the initial and final point divided by mass of that particle. Momentum P is equal to root 2 MQ into V. Again, V is potential difference. Kinetic energy Q into V. V is again the potential difference. Right? So, these are the formulas of velocity, momentum and kinetic energy. So, remember the formulas. Okay, next. Potential energy. See, potential energy of system of two point charges. Potential energy of system of two point charges is 1 by 4 pi epsilon Q1 into Q2 divided by distance between the two charges. I R2 charges not been distance. System of three charges. Not really. If we have three point charges, the system is there. So this is Q1, this is Q2, this is Q3. Distance between 1 and 2 is R12. Distance between 2 and 3 is R23. Distance between 3 and 1 is R31. So the potential energy will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. Q1 into Q2 by R12. Q2 into Q3 by R23. Q3 into Q1 divided by R2, R32. Sorry, R31. Right? This is the potential energy. Work done in rotating dipole, electric field. Uh, chapter one now we have the other formula P cos theta one minus cos theta two uh, potential energy minus P cos theta dipole the potential energy this is the potential energy of dipole potential energy of three system charges potential energy of two system charges right so that's all about potential energy okay so that's all about electric potential in capacitance matu capacitance of the combinations another that we'll see in the next video dear students if you like the content of this channel please don't forget to subscribe the channel and share the video share the channel with your friends. If you need anything else, please put a comment and please put your opinion regarding this course so that I can continue this course, right? Thank you so much. Uh, see, I concepts and shortcuts formulas. I am not solving the MCQs. So, if you need MCQs, uh, I cannot, uh, probably it is not possible for me to make the videos on the MCQs, but I can do one thing. If you MCQs, you can do formulas and concepts. 
ಈ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಈ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾಸ್ ಮೇಲೆ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಒಂದು ಒಂದು ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಒಂದು ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಅಂತೇಳಿ ನಾವು ಒಂದು ಪಿ ಡಿ ಎಫ್ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಹಾಕ್ಬೋದು ವಿತ್ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ಸ್ ಇರ್ತದೆ ರೀ ಆ ಪಿ ಡಿ ಎಫ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ಸ್ ಇರ್ತಾವೆ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ಸ್ ಇರ್ತಾವೆ ಇಫ್ ಯು ನೀಡ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಪುಟ್ ಅ ಕಮೆಂಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಚಕ್ ದ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಷನ್ ಬಾಕ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಒನ್ ಡೇ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಪುಟ್ ಅ ಕಮೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಸಾರಿ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಪುಟ್ ಅ ಲಿಂಕ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಟ್ ಪಿ ಡಿ ಎಫ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಷನ್ ಬಾಕ್ಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಕೆ ಸಿ ಟಿ ಪಿ ವೈ ಕ್ಯೂಸ್ ಕೂಡ ನಾನು ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಮಾಡಿದ ವಿಡಿಯೋಸ್ ಅದಾವೆ ಆ ವಿಡಿಯೋಸ್ ಆ ಕೆ ಸಿ ಟಿ ಪಿ ವೈ ಕ್ಯೂಸ್ ಸಿರೀಸ್ ಲಿಂಕ್ ಕೂಡ ನಿಮಗೆ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಷನ್ ಒಳಗೆ ಸಿಗ್ತದೆ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಚೆಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ದ ಪಿ ವೈ ಕ್ಯೂಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಕೀಪ್ ವಾಚ